Today I'm going to talk to you about the beginning of another great series of books. Now this is a book that started off sort of a book empire in a way because this author has written nearly everything that they've written has been a part or connected to this series. So the book that I'm talking about is called City of Bones. The series that this is the beginning of is a series called The Mortal Instruments, but it's part of the Shadow Hunter world that Cassandra Clare helped to create. Now, the city the, the Mortal Instruments series is 6 books long. And there are also uh, several other series that connect with this series, including the Infernal Devices. And, uh, they're just all connected. There's, there's like three other series of three books, plus two books that are bind-ups of novellas, plus uh, they're connected to some Holly Black books. These are, this is a world that you can really dive into. Now... I will talk about the first book of those other series at some point, but I try not to talk about the other books and series because I don't want to provide any spoilers. But here's what I can tell you about this book right here. Uh, this book uh, introduces a world where vampires and werewolves and uh, warlocks and, and witches and fairies and all those things exist in our modern day world. It is urban fantasy. Um, but they've been living in a way in which we would never have noticed them. And there are people that exist that are called the Nephilim, the Shadow Hunters. And what their job is, is they're essentially like the supernatural police. They have the blood of angels in them, and they are, they are called to keep balance and make sure everyone follows the rules. Um, but somebody's not following the rules, and it, it may be... Uh, uh, someone who was thought to have been gone long ago, but who was once a shadow hunter themselves. And so we have our main character, Clary, who knows nothing of this world, but starts to notice things that other people might not notice. And then the adventure really begins for her when her mother goes missing. And it seems like there might be foul play. And people she's known her whole lives might be even deeper in this world than she ever expected. So it is a fantastic book. Um, I love the connection. You know, the first time I saw a book where it was like modern world, um, like a modern world series that had vampires and stuff like that, um, is probably Twilight. And uh, I, I, I would say that this is infinitely better than the Twilight series, in my humble opinion. Now, this has also had a spinoff in a movie, uh, which I thought was pretty good. It had a couple of misses on it, um, and then it was turned into a TV show, which drastically changed the story. A lot of people really loved the TV show, um, and there were some great things about it, uh, but I would uh, recommend the movie before the TV show, and I hope one day that they readapt it and do an even better job, and they can get through the whole series, because I really love Cassandra Clare's books. I hope that you get a chance to pick up City of Bones, and I hope that you love it.